Hey guys, as a lot of you know, 2019 is coming to a close. Um, and to um, basically um, remember um, what type of year 2019 was, I thought I would tell a story about what happened in 2019. More specifically, an aftermath story of a video. Um, as, as a lot of you guys know, I don't have any, um, aftermath, um, I don't really have, like, any aftermath effects, like, after videos, L like, um, every single video I've done, every, nothing has ever gone wrong, um, like, nothing really major, which almost caused my computer to be completely, um, like, gone. Like, well, I wouldn't say gone, but completely unusable. Um, I never ran into, like, a video with that, um, before. But there was that one, but I can't really say that, though, because back in October, I believe it was October anyways... <laughs> But anyways, as you guys know, I did this thing on my YouTube channel called Spooktober, which was probably a really dumb name to come up with. <laughs> but anyways, um, what happened in this event that I called Spooktober, um, uh, basically, um, on my Discord server and on a couple of my YouTube videos, um, I asked you guys if I should play this game called sonic.exe um so i basically put a poll on my discord server and i also um asked you guys if you guys wanted to see me play it like ask you guys to leave like a certain amount of likes on on a certain on a certain on on certain videos to see if you guys wanted me to play it and i even did the same thing on discord and I would say out of the 12 votes that I've got, 10 out of 12 votes said yes, and 2 out of 12 votes said no. So, this is what I did. I downloaded the game. Um, I actually had to go through the... I actually had to download the game three times, I believe, before I could actually get the game to work, because um, one... Um, one site contained a Trojan with every download that was on... Let me try that again. The first one was on Game Jolt, but I couldn't use it because apparently I did some online research about Game Jolt. Well, not really because I don't really know too much about PC downloads besides Roblox and Steam games. Um, but anyways, um, the assistant manager of the Ellers, uh, Zenpai... She did some research on Game Jolt, and apparently she ran into this thing saying that Game Jolt, whenever you download a game from Game Jolt, every download from Game Jolt is a Trojan, and you should delete it immediately. At least that's what I got from, at least, that, at least that's what she got from the internet. And I also downloaded, so I had to delete it, and then I downloaded the game from another site, and I scanned the game through a website called uh, Virus Total. And after scanning the file from uh, Virus Total, there was a. T there, uh, I have, well, <laughs> can't speak today. I ran into, so I scrolled through every section to see if there was a green check mark. Um, and every section had a green check mark except for one. Um, I can't remember what category it was, but there was a red X. So I deleted the file from the computer again, and then I downloaded the game from one more website. And this website contained no viruses and the file was completely safe. So, and then I just told you guys, hey, I'm playing this game. I'm playing this game. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is the game that you guys wanted me to play. And let me tell you, I actually told my friends at school that I was going to be playing this game. And a lot of them were like looking at me very surprisingly 
with shocked look with, with shocked looks on their faces and they were like literally nodding their head no. So what I did was I played the game for you guys and let me tell you I was playing the game with complete boredom on my face. It was definitely one of the most boring games I have ever played in my whole entire life, believe it or not. But after playing the game um, and doing all the recording stuff with the game, you guys probably know all this stuff. <laughs> after I was done recording the video, um, I stopped the video, obviously. And I tried to exit the game, and no matter how hard I tried, I even tried ALT and F4 to exit out of the game, and I could not exit out of the game, believe it or not. <laughs> so what I did was, I actually had to um, hold down the power button on my computer just for it to actually turn off. And then I turned it back on again, and guess what? The game was still running, believe it or not. So I held down the power button again, but this time, it would not turn off. So what I did was, I unplugged the charger from my computer, I turned the computer on the on its backside, and I removed the battery, and then put it back into the computer. And then after that, I turned on the computer again, and the application was finally closed. My heart was racing, because I actually thought I almost lost my computer for a minute. And I thought I might have gotten a really bad computer virus, so I actually decided to scan my computer for to see if there were any viruses on it. And surprisingly, none were found. And surprisingly, everything ran at the same boring speed as it was before. <laughs> it was running slow, because my computer has pretty much always been running slow. <laughs> so, what has this story taught me? Well, the story has taught me be very careful when you download .exe files on your computer, especially if you ask your viewers if you want them, if you if you ask them if you if they want you to play this game or not, or any .exe game. So, if you ever plan on playing a .exe game, please be very careful because this .exe game was crazy and it almost tried to take over my computer. And I wouldn't really suggest playing Sonic.exe because I got really bored while playing it. I got bored from the first second I started up the game. Pretty much because I already knew all the jump scares. <laughs> and besides, it's not really that scary in my opinion. Like, it's a little bit scary, but at the same time, kind of not. But anyways, there's my story for of um, an experience that I had in 2019. Do you guys have any favorite experiences from 2019? Please let me know in the comments below. Or you can send them on my Discord server, or you can message me them on Roblox. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to like this video, and don't forget to smash... Let me try that again. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss a single upload. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year's and Merry Christmas. Until we mess that up, let me try that again. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>